Good morning. It is Thursday, April 15th. Um, I am just laying around today. I am a bit crampy. Um, so just trying to make sure that I take it as easy as possible. Um, yesterday on the 14th, I went in for my first ultrasound. Um, as of yesterday, I was measuring four weeks and six days. So today I'm five weeks pregnant. Um, so they did the ultrasound and kind of just went over like what to expect. She talked about how spotting is normal. Cramping is normal. Um, you know, if my spotting is like red or like bright, um, then that would be of concern. And I let her know that I had not had any spotting up until that point, And she was like, that's great. But I woke up this morning um, and I've started with some brown spotting, but to my understanding, brown means old blood. There's nothing to be worried about. Um, so I'm just taking it easy and just monitoring that in case it changes color or, you know, I'm in any more pain or anything like that. So I can call them um, before I'm scheduled to go back next week. So my ultrasound actually went really good. Um, she said that they were hoping to just see like the sac um, and maybe the yolk. But she was actually able to see the the sac, the yolk, and a part of the fetal, um, like the neural tube. So um, she said that everything looked really good. A picture of the picture. It's probably pretty hard to see. But um, that little black spot and that little bubble there is our little boy. So... Like I said, everything is looking good so far. We're just taking it week by week. Um, next week, she's expecting to hear his heartbeat. So I'm very excited for that. Um, I'll be with the fertility clinic for 10 weeks. So I'll be with them for five more weeks before they transfer me out to an OB. Um, I've started doing my research to find good OBs in my area. Um, I am very particular with doctors. Um... And for my OB, I, me personally, I specifically want a woman and I want a woman of color, um, for many reasons that I, you know, won't really get into, but, um, that is what I'm specifically looking for. There are quite a few highly rated in our area, some that are quite busier than others. So I'm just looking at what's going to fit best for my situation. Um, and then knowing that I have fibroids, I'm looking for someone that has, um, Excuse me, expertise in that area to know how to handle a pregnancy with fibroids and, you know, what we do afterwards and things like that. So I've started the research process on that. Like, I know I have five more weeks, but I'm sure that five weeks is going to go by quick before I, you know, need to get things moving. So, um, yeah, so the clinic is having me to continue all of my current medications. They have me on um, prednisone. They have me on estrace. I'm doing the progesterone injections. Um, they also still have me taking the thyroid pill. I'm taking a prenatal vitamin. And then I'm still taking my normal everyday vitamins that I take because of my bypass surgery. So I take a Flintstone vitamin twice a day. Um, I take two tablespoons of calcium magnesium citrate. Um, and I was doing biotin, collagen, and elderberry. So what I'll have to find out is how much of those things will change because I know prenatal vitamins have a lot in them, but because of what gastric bypass does to your body, like you don't absorb vitamins as well, which is why you have to take more. Um, so I don't know if they're going to have me try to wean off of some of those extra vitamins or what. Um, I have to find that out, but <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. So overall I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I think right now I'm just a mix of every emotion out there. I'm overly excited. I'm so happy. Um, I'm anxious. I'm nervous with each day that passes and, you know, different things start happening with my body and, you know, just wanting to make sure that everything is going as it should. It has my nerves like really bad, but I'm looking forward to this new journey and just praying for everything to be, you know, not perfect, but just praying that everything will just go according to plan. So I will keep you guys posted as things develop over the coming days and weeks. So just stay tuned. Hey guys. So 
Today is Thursday, April 22nd. Um, I'm laying in bed because I'm really tired. And today I'm like a little crampy and a bit nauseous. So I'm just trying to relax um, before I have to log in for work in a couple hours. Um, I am officially six weeks pregnant today. I had my second ultrasound on yesterday. And I was honestly completely freaking out and very, very anxious because I don't, up until probably today, I haven't really experienced any pregnancy symptoms, no nausea, vomiting, sore boobs, anything like that. Like I've been a little bit tired, but I, I'm i always tired, I feel like, um, so I didn't think anything of that. But the lack of pregnancy symptoms that I guess I was expecting or hoping for, I was not having. So I was very, very anxious going into yesterday. Um, I was crying and praying for a while before I left the house yesterday morning because I was just so scared that my baby wasn't going to be there anymore. Um, and, you know, I am a firm believer in my faith. I know that what's meant to be will be, but... As I've said before, like, I've never gotten to this point before. This is a brand new experience for me. I'm scared. Like, yes, I'm happy. I'm excited for all of these things, but I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm anxious every single day. Like, you can't just tell me to remain positive because that's not going to happen. Like, it's not. I'm going to have anxiety. Um, But long story short, I went in um, for my ultrasound. And I told her again when she came in the room, I'm super nervous. Like, I'm not having any symptoms. What's going on? And she, you know, reassured me and was basically like, consider yourself lucky. Like, you may develop them later, but not everybody has pregnancy symptoms. Your numbers look great. You know, yes, your progesterone was a little bit low. And we increased. Sorry. So my um, progesterone level came back at like 18, which they didn't consider low. It's on the lower end of normal. Um, but they increased me from one unit to 1.5. However, my husband and I decided that we were going to take it upon ourselves and increase it to two. Um, technically, you can't have too much progesterone. Like your body will eventually take over and start creating more of it on its own. But since my pregnancy, in a sense, was forced through IVF um, in these beginning weeks, my body is not producing it yet, so I have to take the the supplement and the injection. Um, so for the past few days, we've been doing two units. Um, they took my blood yesterday, so tomorrow I'll have the results of that to see if the number has increased or stayed the same or what. Um, and that'll kind of decide, like, do we continue to do two? Do we do the 1.5 or whatever? Um, but I will be on that medication at least until I'm 10 week, ten to 12 weeks, probably longer. It'll just determine what um, my OB says once I leave the IVF clinic and go to them. Um, but my ultrasound was good. Um, the baby was measuring as he should be right at six weeks. We were able to actually see his heart beating on the monitor. Um, we couldn't hear it yet, but she said he had a strong first, like his, it was his first, I guess the first scan of the heartbeat um, since last week. And she said it was beating at about 108 beats per minute and said that was really good for where we were. Um, so we were able to see it and capture a little bit of, um, excuse me, his heart beating on the screen. Um, so I'll drop that in. But I had also let her know about some of my spotting. So in the moment, she had mentioned something that I didn't even think to question because I was so like caught up in the um, the baby and his heartbeat. But I had told her about the spotting and she was like, it is normal. But she had pointed out like two spots in my uterus that were darker areas or where I guess it could have been some fluid or blood or whatever and she's like yeah it could be coming from either one of these areas and she kind of mentioned like the sac possibly pulling away from the uterus and I didn't think about it in that moment but now thinking about it I'm like well what the heck does that mean like is that something that should have even been happening and you know is this going to cause me issues down the line so I didn't think about it but 
I'm going to follow up with her today just to confirm, but she made everything seem like it was absolutely normal, like nothing was happening that shouldn't be happening. Um, so that reassured me and kind of made me feel a little bit better, like I can get out of my head a little bit about how things are going um, and, you know, just know that the baby is doing completely fine. Um, what else? I don't go back until next Wednesday, which will be right before I turn seven weeks. Um, she didn't really say what to expect at that appointment. I'm just thinking they're going to measure him again to make sure he's growing. Um, probably listen to his heart again. We may be able to hear his heartbeat. Um, they do my blood work every week to check my numbers. So that'll be happening. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. Excuse me. Yes. So try fun. Um, I'm feeling pretty good outside of just some cramping. And like I said, today I have a little bit of nausea. Um, no really other symptoms outside of that. So I'm just going to keep taking it easy. Um, I've been trying to force myself to eat every couple hours, which I'm hungry, but it's just hard to fit a lot of food into my stomach. I'm just trying to make sure that I get enough nutrients for the baby. Um, especially since she's like, I can't really drink the protein drinks I was drinking anymore um, because of the artificial sweeteners and things like that. So I'm going to place a grocery delivery order and I've ordered like some vegan protein powder. Um, I'm going to do like spinach and pineapples and just blend up like a smoothie every morning. Fruit is still very iffy for me. I don't eat a lot of fruit because although it's natural sugar, it's still sugar. Um, and because of the bypass surgery, like sugar upsets my my body really bad um it just causes like a bunch of mess like sometimes I have diarrhea I'll have nausea I'll get lightheaded like sh I'm, I'm scared of sugar but I'm thinking I'm just gonna try it and just see see how I do um if I don't do well with that then I'm gonna try something else or I think I'll, I'll make the smoothie and just have portions of it throughout the day versus all at once to kind of break up how much sugar I'm getting at one time, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so I'll be back soon with another update. Good morning. So today is Sunday, May 2nd, um, it's like 8 a.m. I'm currently doing my, my current favorite activity of just laying in the bed. Um, today I am seven weeks and three days pregnant. Um, everything has been going fine the past couple of weeks. I'm still not having very many pregnancy symptoms at all. Um, which I am taking as a good thing, but then at the same time, um, I don't know. I have like this feeling like the pregnancy symptoms would make it feel all the more real. Um, but yeah, still nothing really heavy. I guess like the only real symptoms I have are extreme fatigue excuse me and I'm extra hungry um so I guess like I said that's a good thing um not a lot has been going on I went in for my six week scan last no well it would have been my seven week scan because I went the day before I turned seven weeks and baby was measuring right as he should his heart rate was um, 145 beats per minute. We're not able to hear it right now. We can only see it. Um, the fertility clinic said that they don't actually do, um, listening to the heart rate this early, something about the sound waves or something. So I probably won't actually hear his heartbeat until we graduate and go to the regular, um, doctor. Um, but yeah, everything like he looked great. Um, every week, it's funny to see how the images change on the ultrasound as he's growing. Um, they did notice that I have what's called an SCH, which is short for, excuse me, um, a subchronic hematoma, which is very common in IVF pregnancies. It's very common in the first trimester. It's basically like a bleed, um, but it hasn't given me any issues. Like there were a couple of days where I had some minor spotting, but they basically were like, you know, if you see blood out of nowhere, um, 
don't be surprised because this is where it's coming from. But they resolve themselves. It's nothing of any concern. Like they, it does go away. Um, outside of that, none of my medications have changed just yet. I think they're going to, they're going to start weaning me off of some stuff. I take that back. They did take me off of the, um, the thyroid medication. So while I didn't have an issue with my thyroid, when you're going through IVF, they want to control like the level um, that you're at. So they had me taking a pill called Synthroid. She took me off of that last week um, because she basically was like, we were only on it to get me pregnant. Um, but I'm still taking the Avacetol powder twice a day, the prednisone once a day, and the estradiol pills twice a day. Um, and then I'm doing my prenatal vitamin and, uh, I'm still taking like B12, B1, and then my calcium magnesium citrate, which are just normal vitamins that I need for my bypass surgery. Um, and also still doing the progesterone injection. I did tell her that we had decided that we were going to give myself two mLs versus the 1.5. She said there's no harm in it at all. She checked my levels, um, last week and they're steadily increasing. So she has no concern about it. Um, I think my only issue with us doing the two ML is that I'm running out a lot quicker. Um, so it's harder to get the refills as quickly because, um, insurance only approves the, the refills like every so many days or whatever. So currently waiting on a refill of that. But, um, other than that, like, I've been fine. It's still not really like set in to me yet that I am pregnant. I mean, I see him on the ultrasound every week. Um, I know that I have like these minor symptoms, but I guess because like my belly's not poking out or because I'm not throwing up and all those things, it hasn't like quite hit me yet. Um, I don't know when that point's going to come, but I'm still feeling pretty good. Um, I don't really have much of a, a belly. I mean, I have like some bloat going on. Well, that might be baby. I have a little bit of belly, belly going on here at uh, seven week. But um, yeah, not much has changed. I'm trying to find um, the pictures. So... My last ultrasound, it probably was the machine, but the pictures did not come out um, as great as they had the weeks prior. But I'll tr try to show you guys um, some of the pictures. So this was what the week of the 21st had to have been what, like two or three weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. Um, but he wasn't looking like too much at that point, but this was on April 21st, um, where I had to have been six weeks. Yeah, that was my six week ultrasound. Um, just looks like a little ring. And then last week at my seven week ultrasound, he got so much bigger. Um, and she was able to measure like the full, like from crown to to toe, or I don't know what they call it, but she was able to measure him from the top of what would be his head to the bottom of, of what would be his feet. Um, and basically, like I said, they said everything looked good. But yeah, these images did not come out as good as the prior week. It had to have just been that machine, but he's, he's in there measuring right on track, good heartbeat. Um, everything looking good, so... That's really it. I'm actually about to go take my prenatal vitamins and eat some breakfast. I will check back in with you guys in a couple days. Happy Friday. Today is May 7th. Um, I am eight weeks and one day today. Um... This week has been okay. On Monday, I had a lot of cramping down in my lower belly. Um, I've started to get headaches. Um, a little nausea, but no vomiting. 
my breasts are starting to get a little sore and I'm still extremely fatigued. Like I could literally sleep all day. But then the crazy thing is when I'm actually ready to go to bed, it's like insomnia kicks in and I can't go to sleep. Um, and then I'm, I'm not as hungry as I have been the past couple of weeks, but I am still, still hungry. I don't have really any food aversions right now. Um, I'm able to eat pretty much everything. Carbs are still my best friend. Um, my goal this week has been fluid intake. Um, it's been really hard to get both fluids and food, but I'm trying to stick to my alarms. Like every one hour I'm drinking a bottle of water or eating. Um, it gets even harder in between the fact that I'm sleeping all day. So, so far today, I've really only had a bottle of Gatorade and then I ate like half a cheeseburger which is not good. So I'm getting ready to drink a big bottle of water, probably two, and then I'll try to eat something else. Um, my ultrasound went really well. Baby is getting so much bigger day by day. Um, of course, he's still really tiny. He's like the size of a raspberry. But um, last week, you could really you know, not really make out too many features. Like you could see like where his head and tail are. But this week I was able to see one of his arms. Um, he was upside down, but you could see one of his arms kind of like moving back and forth. Um, you can see like some of the facial features, like where the eyes will be. You can, you can see that on the ultrasound, those things coming in. Um, and his heartbeat was really strong. Um, I think at last week's appointment, it was like 145, and then this week it was like 160, 165, which is really good. That early on, they are supposed to have such a strong heartbeat, heartbeat. so that was good. Um, I still have the, um, the hematoma. It's not causing me any bleeding, but I'm wondering if that is what is causing a lot of the cramping. Um, on the ultrasound, she said that excuse me everything looked fine though like it was nothing of any concern um the amniotic sac has formed around the baby now i can see that the yolk sac is almost completely gone and then i could also see his um umbilical cord so everything with him is going great i'm just trying to get myself together um with the food and fluids um, and just trying to adapt to all of these different changes that are happening. Um, you know, some weeks there are no symptoms at all. Then some weeks it's full blown. And I've been trying to track everything. And I'm noticing like Mondays are always the days where I get more like heavy cramping. So my husband is like, Mondays must be the days that he decides he wants to have a growth spurt. Because it literally ha has been happening every Monday for the past few weeks. Um, so maybe that's what it is. Um, but yeah, everything's going good. My medication has reduced a little bit. Um, you guys know I was doing the two mLs of the progesterone. They've dropped me back down to one. Um, I was doing two estradiol or estrogen tablets a day. She's dropped me down to one a day. And then I was taking one prednisone tablet a day and she's dropped me down to half a tablet a day. Um, the Avocetol powder, I was doing two scoops a day. I'm now on one scoop a day. So decreasing those meds does have me really nervous. Um, my appointment was Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, and today I've been doing the lesser dose and I've still been feeling fine. Um, they will check my levels when I go in again next Wednesday. So as long as everything is still going as projected and numbers are still increasing, um, you know, they won't change anything with the medication because I'm. she said that I'm getting to the point where my body should start taking over the production of some of those things. As you know, doing IVF, it's kind of like a forced pregnancy. So my body has had to catch up. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we are praying that, you know, those numbers just keep increasing and my body just continues to do what it's going to do. Um, we've decided that we are celebrating Mother's Day because you know, I am a mother. I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm carrying our little boy. Um, my favorite cousin sent me a bouquet of flowers and I immediately just started crying when they came because it just kind of like said in like, wow, you're going to be somebody's mom. 
um, on top of them being so beautiful. And then my mom sent me some roses and, you know, I've been getting a couple other things here and there. My husband said he has some things for me as well. So super exciting. Like I enjoy being spoiled. I like gifts, but it just is, you know, really solidifying the fact that I am really going to be somebody's mother in seven months, um, which is crazy. But um, my stomach, it's probably mostly just bloat right now um because my stomach is pretty flat after the bypass surgery but it's been sticking out a little bit um mostly bloat though um but the little peanut is in there doing what he's doing um that's really it i um will check in after my next ultrasound appointment and wish all of you a great weekend. Stay safe, be blessed. Happy Mother's Day. See you soon.